right, Rich, thank you. This week here at Augusta National Golf Club, Rory McIlroy has a chance to become just the sixth man to achieve the career Grand Slam in the history of the sport. But his quest to become not just the number one player in the official World Golf ranking, but to become golf royalty began years ago. The career Grand Slam has always been a, a dream of mine, a sort of a far away dream, something that you know, I never knew that if it could become a reality. Remember the swing and remember the name. For at just nine years of age, Rory McIlroy from Hollywood is following in the steps of his golfing hero, Tiger Woods. And there are more than just a few parallels. To turn a pro and to win all the majors. And would you like to win them all in one year? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously Tiger Woods was the best golfer in the world and Rory wanted to emulate um, the achievements of what he did and uh, to become the world number one golfer, to win multiple majors. He really studied Tiger. I mean, way more than Tiger studied Jack, in my opinion. When his dad and he would go on trips, he'd just sit in the front seat reading Tiger's book, How I Play Golf. You know, he won the Tiger Slam, he held all four at the same time, he won a huge percentage of majors over a, a few year period. You know, I, I didn't know if I'd ever be in that position. Rory McIlroy proved to be a good study of Woods. He sported the same gear, mimicked Woods' Nike commercial, and became a precocious TV celebrity. Would you please welcome from Hollywood, the world under 10 golf champion, Rory McIlroy. I think the expectations from people in Northern Ireland, because they had heard so much about this uh, wonder kid golfer, that they expected him to go on to, to big things. <laughs> and the silver medal for the low amateur, and that will go to Roy McIlroy. And what a week for the 18-year-old. States Open champion. Yes! The new ruler of the game of golf is Rory McIlroy. When he's won two majors by eight shots, you're feeling like, well, this is Tiger-like. There was a sense that, yeah, this is the next guy. He's got all the talent in the world to, to do what he's doing, and this is the way that Rory can't play. Rory McIlroy to me is, is at least once in a decade type player. He's that good. He's better than everybody else. On top form, he can beat the field hands down. Somebody actually came around who's almost as good as Tiger. The thing Tiger's like once in a hundred year guy. And here's another guy who might actually, if not surpass Tiger, at least approach it. Then the burden really started for Rory. That's when it started getting tough. Rex. Rory, some of the strongest lessons you've learned, do they come from winning or from failures? Uh, definitely from failures. I struggled when I got to number one in the world because that was really the only goal that I set myself for that year in 12. Once I got there so quickly, I was, you know, what I do. Rory McIlroy has joined Nike. Hashtag new business. Nike doesn't do things small. 25 million a year. The biggest deal in golf since Tiger. This has fueled what I believe is enormous pressure. Some guys will change one thing and different drive it, but to change all of them, this is dangerous. Wow, that's a gamble. He took the money like everybody would. It has not gone well at all so far. He missed the cut in Abu Dhabi. The world's number one golfer is under fire for his early departure from the Honda Classic. He was seven over par through his first eight holes. He's walked off the golf course. I regret what I did, but you know, it's, it's over now and it won't happen again. Rory McIlroy is leaving his Dublin-based sports management group to set up his own management group. This doesn't seem like a good move to me. Rory McIlroy, the highest ranked player to miss the cut. He was the best player in the world five minutes ago. He, he's no longer. Sometimes I feel like I'm walking around out there and I'm unconscious. Rory had a lot of things come down at one time. He signed that big contract with Nike. The kind of person Rory is, he felt like, I have an obligation now. They're giving me 250 million and I've got to live up to this. The reaction to McElroy's equipment change consumed the first half of 2013. Oh, he's done it. He breaks the 12-month drought. 
By year's end, McElroy quieted the doubters with a statement victory at the Australian Open over then world number one, Adam Scott. Finally, it's coming around for me. News breaking earlier this morning about the engagement that is no more of Rory McElroy and Caroline Wozniacki. Just when it looked like his life had returned to order, the tabloids ran with the news of McElroy's breakup with tennis star Caroline Wozniacki. It came less than a week after the couple had sent out wedding invitations. The decision to not be married and to consider, you know, what he really wanted in life was a healthy one, it was a painful one, it was a necessary one, and I think the final decision was, I'm a golfer, I have a gift, and geniuses put their gift first. McElroy faced the scrutiny head on with a press conference at the BMW PGA Championship. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be very difficult, and it was, you know, mutual and amicable, and, you know, we both thought it was best for both of us. Four days later, he won. It was a stunning turnaround, one that set up a summer to remember. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Rory McIlroy. Back majors capped a tumultuous 18-month stretch for McElroy and underscored his ability to thrive under adversity. He always said to me, I I'm not letting this stuff worry me. I will bounce back. Skeptically, I thought, is he just saying that or does he really mean it? He was true to his word. It's made him a stronger person coming out the other side. There's a certain resiliency in him. You know, he's not always been considered a tough guy. You know, but he looks like a soft kid, and he's got a manner of a soft, kindly, very nice kid. But there's something steely in there. In the early part of 2015, McElroy's resolve would again be tested. A settlement of a lawsuit with his former agent resulted in McElroy paying nearly $20 million. Again, McElroy responded on the course, opening 2015 with a win in Dubai. He has struggled since. A miscut and an outburst at Doral have raised questions heading to the Masters. I still love the game. I probably loved it more back then. I guess in the position that I'm in, there's a slight work element to it. You have to work just as hard, if not harder, than everyone else. And set new goals and new targets. There is no bigger target than the career Grand Slam. That's what McElroy can achieve with a win at Augusta. Immortality at the age of 25. I always wanted to get to this position. I never knew if I could, and now that I'm in there, I want to make the most of it.